Hey everyone, Kevin here today with a kind of a short video on a little bit of fintech security that's got me a little concerned, but we're going to get around it here with Coinbase. Um, specifically, uh, when you sign up for something like Coinbase, and it's not just Coinbase, they may want you to add a payment method uh, to be able to fund an account. If you click this bank account here, you're presented with a bunch of options at different banks. It actually looks pretty slick if you ask me. Uh, the different ones here, and it's pretty uniform. In fact, that uniformity kind of tipped me off here to something, and I'm like, hmm, username and password, okay, or user ID and password, does that mean it's using OAuth? Well, let me dig in a little bit deeper here. And the reason I want to know if it's using OAuth or something like that is that means the credentials would pretty much, well, should be only handled by the uh, the bank itself, so in this case, Chase. But if we look here, it looks like it's actually handled by a service called Plaid, we visit plaid.com here, you'll see that they have a platform here for doing uh, these sorts of integrations. The concerning part is, is what they promise here is that they can actually get your balance and your income and uh, different things like that. Um, the whole point of using this is to skip the whole micro deposit process. So I understand why a vendor would want to use uh, something like this, but the concern for the general user is, these credentials are being handled by an unknown number of people and are they being stored somewhere which is the bigger concern you know is the security in place now we can look and say okay there's some sort of link here it looks like it's going to chase.com but this is just you know some sort of link here we have no guarantee on the operations of things unless we actually dig into the source here and this is minified js so this set off warning flags to me um on hmm, what is plaid and why do i need to give you my username and password i don't know who you are i have no relationship with you if we go to the legal terms of plaid here it's actually kind of uh, basically saying, well, just trust us. We'll do the right thing. And if one of our vendors that we've sold our service to doesn't do it right, we'll cancel. However, you know, it still doesn't leave me with the feeling that this is actually safe. You know, for me, OAuth is much safer. So um, fret not if you are encountering one of these sorts of services where they want to use uh, Plaid here. One of my coworkers actually uh, helped me through this because I was absolutely not interested in providing my rank credentials to a service. And it's nothing against Coinbase, nothing against Plaid. I just think my bank credentials are pretty darn, um, you know, you know, I need them to only be between me and the bank. So what you can do is you can just put in some gobbledygook here and then hit this link bank manually. Here we can do our routing number and account number. Uh, and then we can verify. What they'll do is they'll do two micropayments. The huge advantage of doing it this way is this is, will only be scoped to one account. If you give Plaid or Coinbase your username and password, they have access to every account you have. And who knows if they're storing your information. So anyway, uh, this is just a quick little tip, uh, especially for Coinbase or possibly for somebody else who's asking for your username or password. Just try to get to a screen where you can just put in one account and that should be helpful. All right. See ya.